I style code both in examples and outside examples with that add in as a starting point, and then yeah, I also tweak them manually. So if I press Shift Control A for the normal code formatting that comes with our studio, the code format code, that won't do anything there. Um, but if I have the active file open and press Shift Control P, then I pop up the commands palette and can start typing style active file. That's the adding that I use. Um, if I want to do that in batch, you know, I would do active package, but in this case, I want to style this specific file and see if something changes. And indeed, you know, that does change a little bit. So it is doing something, obviously, it's just that maybe it's not exactly the formatting that I want. And uh, there's many ways to format the code and still be compliant with a particular guide, right? So in this case, for example, I think that the, uh, the underlying function that does the style that I had just shown through the um, adding, I think, well, it's from the styler package, and I think the function is uh, style file, ultimately. So we can see that it does use the tidyverse style, and uh, it doesn't, it does work in uh, Roxygen examples. But true is that, uh, you know, this might not be uh, the formatting that I say would like. So just for an example, say that we want something different. I'm going to do it in two ways. So one way would be left, because I'm going to do it in two ways. I'm going to duplicate this line, shift, alt, uh, arrow, down arrow. So if I press, if I hit enter here, uh, you know, this formatting is not what I want still. I still need to add, you know, two spaces here to give the indentation that I want. Um, so that is how I would probably uh, do it. But also notice that if I run the styler again, um, it does nothing because both these two lines and this line are both compliant with the tidyverse style guide. It's just that uh, if I start from here, I would not get the second option. I would get the uh, first option, right? It couldn't, you know, break lines. But in some cases, I would pref I might prefer something like this, right? So yeah, that would be something that is has to be manual because there is many ways to comply with the tidyverse style guide. And then the other option is, you know, just to move that line outside of the um, of the examples and do you know whatever styling that you might usually use. Uh, like for example, if I press Shift Control A here, it does work. And you know, if I had like another like a weird formatting, uh, that also would you know. I guess you could do something, let's see, there you go, something you could do, but then this is a different type of style, uh, you know, in some cases you might prefer that, uh, but the point is that, you know, the Shift-Alt-A, which is the default code format that comes with our studio, uh, could work outside the examples, but not inside the examples when they are formatted as Roxygen comments. But uh, if that's what you want, then you just move them out, uh, highlight those lines, maybe you know, comment them in batch with Shift Control C. And what I would, I would do then is transform it into Roxygen comments with, uh, when I, I use the Veeam editor, so I'm gonna escape Shift Alt and J gives me uh, these two um, editing um, cursors. And now I'm gonna add the, the quote there. So now I'm, you know, I'm able to highlight that and move it back to the examples if that's what I want. So that would be how I would edit um, this um, example section uh, in the Roxygen documentation. Not that I like this formatting, but I guess it makes the point.